Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zayn and this is Monument. Today I'd like to get a full understanding of why Elon Musk has chosen to sell over 10% of his Tesla stocks. Now a lot of people have gathered a general conclusion behind this sale and despite the fact that Elon has put up a tweet on Twitter, a poll on Twitter to allow his community to determine if he should sell 10% of his Tesla shares not every day a billionaire, a successful business person, choose to give away or just sell, give up 10% of their ownership of their given company. Not every day. And this is what we want to understand. And here's a general conclusion behind this reasoning. One of the, one of the reasons a lot of people think Elon has chosen to sell shares is mostly because he faced a 15 billion tax bill, which is likely to be the reason why he was selling stocks. Now Elon Musk asked his 62 million Twitter followers over the weekend whether he should sell 10% of his Tesla holdings. Now to be honest this is old news, this has actually happened in early November but because a lot of people still don't understand why Elon had his own personal reasons for selling shares this is why I'm making this video to debunk this theory. Now in my personal belief no matter what the result of the poll was Musk would have likely started to sell millions of his shares this time this year. And the main reason of that is because of a Lumen tax bill of more than 15 billion. Now Elon Musk was awarded options in 2012 as part of a compensation plan. Because he doesn't take a salary or a cash bonus, his wealth comes from stocks awards and the gains in Tesla share price. Now the 2012 award was for 22.8 million shares at a strike price of $6.24 per share. Tesla shares closed at $1,222,000 on Friday. And this was around the 6th and 7th of November, meaning his gains on share total is just under $28 billion. So the company has already recently disclosed that Musk has taken out loans using his shares as collateral. And with the sales, Musk may want to repay some of those loans obligations. As Tesla noted in its third quarter Security and Exchange Commission 10Q filing this year, if the price of our common stocks were to decline substantially, Mr. Musk may be forced by one or more of bank institutions to sell shares of Tesla common stocks to satisfy his loans obligation if he could not do so in other means. Any such sale could cause the price of a common stock to decline further. So the options expires in August of next year, yet in order to exercise them, Musk has to pay the income tax on the gains. Since the options are taxed as an employee benefit or compensations, they will be taxed at top ordinary income level or 37% plus 3.8 net investment tax. You will also have to pay 13.3% percent top tax rate in California since the options were granted and mostly earned while he was a California tax resident. Combined, the state and federal tax rate will be 54.1 percent, so the total of tax bill on his options at the current price would be around 15 billion US dollars. So Elon hasn't confirmed the size of the tax bill, but he tweeted note, I do not have to take a cash salary or bonus from anywhere. I only have common stocks, thus the only way for me to pay tax personally is to sell stocks. Since CEOs have limited windows in which to sell stocks, Musk would likely want to stagger the sales over the last, over at least two quarters. Analysts and tax experts have been expecting Musk to sell in the fourth quarter of 2021, which is where we are right now. And at an appearance of the Code Conference in September, Musk said, I have a bunch of options that are expiring early next year, so a huge block of options will sell in Q4, because I have to, or they'll expire. Musk of course could also borrow more against his Tesla shares, which will now total over 200 billion, yet he's already pledged 92 million, 92 million shares to lenders for cash borrowing. Now when asked at the code conference about borrowing against such volatile shares, he said stocks don't always go up they also go down. So Elon Musk is still racking up options beyond those granted via Tesla in 2012 paid package. In March 2018, Tesla's board of directors granted him a unprecedented CEO performance award consisting of 101.3 million stocks options. 
adjusted for the five for one stock split in 2020 in 12 milestones based tranches. So this is incredible for a number of reasons. For one, it's perfect timing for Elon to sell his stock options because at the time in 2012, when he gained those stock options to his Tesla company through the board of directors, each stock was valued around $6, $6.24. That's quite impressive. So why is it perfect time to sell these stocks? Well, for one, he has to because he's taken out collateral against these stocks and shares. And the bank will ask Elon, well, Mr. Elon, do you have any money on hand to cover your loans when you need to? And Elon would have to adjust for that. So selling his stocks will actually get him that money on hand. Also, he had to, by law, in some cases, sell his positions to adjust or else they will expire. And this was all part of the contract when he was awarded these shares. These were all part of it when he was awarded these 22.8 million shares in 2012. And like I previously said, 2018, he was awarded around 101 million additional stock options. Once again, it's in 2018, March 2018. So once again, I'll ask you, why is it perfect time for Elon to sell these positions? Well, let's go back to Tesla shares in March 2018. These shares were valued at $53 roughly around $53. Now, don't get me wrong, Tesla shares have split. So adjusted for splits, it would possibly be valid around maybe 106 or possibly even $170, depending on how many times Tesla shares were split. I think it was once or twice, I do believe. Since 2018, that is, I could be wrong. I do apologize if I am wrong, but adjusted for the stock split, Yet still, this is a huge margin, even by those adjustments since 2018. This is a huge adjustment. He's made a lot of money off the stock options that he was awarded for free. And that's not all. Going back to 2012, when Elon was awarded 22, 22 million stock options, the price of these shares were valued around $6.24, adjusted, adjusted for the stocks and shares uh, splits that have happened with Tesla in the past. Still, he was awarded these shares when the company Tesla was heavily undervalued compared to where it is right now. It's it's worth right now by market cap one trillion one hundred and fifty billion U.S. dollars. That's its valuation right now as we speak. Now, in additional news: Elon Musk sells one point one billion worth of Tesla stocks, but also collects two point three billion more. Fascinating, isn't it? This guy just keeps on getting richer and richer and more fortunate. Just take a look at his example. And once again, this is not financial advice. This is just public information that I'm relaying for everyone who's listening. So Tesla is confirming a new SEC filing that Elon Musk sold about 1.1 billion worth of Tesla stocks after announcing that he would through a strange Twitter poll. However, he also collected about 2.3 billion worth of Tesla shares to stock options that he exercised from his previous CEO Grant. Last weekend, Musk floated the idea that he would sell 10%. So when Tesla confirmed this, this new SEC filing, they confirmed that he exercised 2.1 million options at the price of $6.24 shares on November the 8th. At today's Tesla price, that's worth about 2.3 billion US dollars. So that's how Elon Musk got more money even after selling his Tesla positions. The profits that he's made on his options are absolutely ginormous. But ultimately, I hope this explains to everyone why Elon has chosen to sell his shares, why he posted a poll. For one, the poll on Twitter was more of a joke for Elon just to poke digs at people who've been trying to stack, just to put digs at people who are trying to tax the rich. And absolutely, you should tax the rich. And absolutely, you should tax the rich. Everyone should be taxed. But the way and ideas that some of these government bodies are coming up with ideas of how the rich could be taxed are absolutely stupid. And some people are actually suggesting that these CEO, these big billionaires and millionaires have to sell their position deliberately just to pay tax. That's like if the government came to your house on a yearly basis asking you to sell your house, your cars, your positions just to pay additional tax because your property, your car, your asset, your house, they all have a value. And because they have a value, they hold taxable deductions. But in the real world, you only pay tax when you've sold your assets. And it's the same thing with billionaires and millionaires. 
If they haven't sold their assets, they don't have to pay tax. But if you're going to force people to sell their assets just to pay their tax, well, why not just do that with everyone, which is silly. Most CEOs are already paying their tax because they're getting annually wages. They're getting monthly wages as well, such as Tim Cook. He's getting around 14 million, 20 million on average each year from Apple as a CEO. And he's paying his tax on that amount. But what he's not paying his tax on is the additional shares that he's awarded through Apple because those are assets and those are assets that he don't in that he has no intentions in selling. So imagine if you have your house and because your house is valid, I don't know, half a million, one million, and technically that house is tax deductible if it is sold. The house holds value, which means it holds tax. And that's like the government trying to force you to sell your house just to pay the tax that's on the house. That doesn't have to be paid unless you sell the house. It's quite ridiculous to be honest. I think they need to come up with better ideas of ways to tax the rich. Anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more, leave a like, leave a comment. And of course, I will see you in my next video.